strategy on custom screener, right? Add alert on a safe screener. Now, what we have done is we have added a very simple alert. Right? So uh, before we go there, and uh, remember, guys, this is a society environment. It is running as of yesterday around 10 a.m. To be precise, the current time is 10.41 now. Right? So we go add an uh, alert, do it yourself. Before we do that, let's clean all those alerts. Right? So all the alerts got cleaned here. Manage alerts. Let's remove these alerts. We go with clean slate. Always good to go with clean slate. Right? All right. Go to DIY. Do it yourself, screener. Uh, let's add alert. Is there a condition that we want to add alert? Okay, alert on a safe screener, right? So, guys, remember we have saved a, a, a screener a while back. No, that was the production environment, right? So, let's quickly save one uh, screener here. Uh, let's say price between 100 to 500. Uh, tick volume. Above. Now, basically, there's a small documentation here, right? In the tick volume, where's the documentation gone? Okay, let's go back. Right? See, uh, the tick volume, right? Or whatever the tick is here. Uh, be, be, uh, be sure that uh, the volume, right? Uh, if you set it to, let's say, a million or 500,000, uh, right? Th this thing you need to fine tune depending on the time of the day. Uh, maybe 930, 1 million is a little too high. Uh, maybe uh, 320, 500,000 is too low, right? So uh, feel free to fine tune it above, let's say, uh, 50,000. You can get a little conservative. Okay. And then uh, price cross above 20. I'm keeping 20 because we'll get more stocks when it is a smaller moving average. And maybe uh, checking above zero. Right, we run it, no stocks, FNO, no stocks, 500, yeah, there are few stocks, right? So this is this is a strategy that we want to create alert on. So add alert. Now I have option whether I want alert on, let's say if I save it, right? Let me save it, give that, at one alert for demo. Create it. So I have saved the screen now. Right? Now, what time it is? Quickly run it. The time is 10:43, right? On the server. So I go ahead and add alert. Yeah, this is the alert. And let's and this is okay. Sorry, it was a wrong thing. Uh, I go here, change it to market us. Run no criteria. Okay, no stocks meeting this criteria. Mm, what do we change? We pause this one. Run it. Yeah, there are a few stocks, right? Matching this criteria. Okay, so let me remove this one. Save. Instead of saving, I'll update it. So my criteria is updated. So when I go here, okay, so the screener is there. So I'll quickly go ahead and add alert. My alert is on this one. You can add alert on any other things, but let me add alert here. And this is market as add close. So we should be getting an alert in next 30 seconds. At the same time, if you feel what time it is, uh, the time is uh, 44, right? So uh, let me add another alert. Uh, Just to get an idea, so any of these stocks, Apollo tires, right? Let's add Apollo tires. 228 is the price. So let's see, the alert got triggered here, right? So, uh, so basically, my strategy alert number of records are 80. Uh, some of the uh, or, uh, initial number of uh, stock codes are mentioned here. Not possible to give 80 stocks here. So, if you want to see, go triggered alert. Triggered alert intraday, you'll see that 80 stocks are here, right? All the stock details are below. Right? So the next alert that we were supposed to add was on Apollo tires, right? Where's Apollo tires? Apollo
polo tires, right? The price is 228. Now, the, the alert we are setting here is polo tires. Right? We want to set an alert. Had alert. Market us. Polo above 200, right? So this should immediately get triggered, right? But what we are doing is we don't want to get it triggered. Uh, no, the, this this is not working. Right? Okay. Uh, above 200. Right? So we'll see a polo tires at this time. Right. In in about few few minutes, another alert that we want to do is, uh, okay. So let's clean the previous one because uh, it does not make it's not very good to have too many things in the background. This alert, let's clear all the content. Manage. We have this strategy alert. This is already triggered. So the alert which got triggered will be marked as this right. Can we enable it? Yes. If you want to enable it again, just mark it as active and then this gets enabled again. So in another few minutes, you'll see this alert getting triggered. So what the time? 47, right? So let's add another alert, uh, which is slight variation of this, but we want it at a specific time. Right? So what we do is we reset this. Reset this. In this case, we are looking for all bullish stocks. Okay. And I want uh, PE below 20. I'm keeping it really simple. Uh, and I want to add alert, right? So far, what we have been doing is it intraday? No, market does, right? So far, what we have been doing, do, do we get any results or not? Let's run this screen. Yeah, there are certain results, right? Uh, so far, what we have been doing is we were uh, selecting alert from one of the settings. Right? Now, if you don't want to create these settings, right, you want to go from the current, current selection. So what you do is change it to current selection. I want this alert only at a specific time. So time is uh, 10.47, right? So I want this alert at uh, 10.55. So 10.55. So in the next iteration, this alert will not be triggered. Okay. Uh, alert. Okay. Run it. I add it. Go back here. You'll see that alert at 10.55. Trigger time is 10.55. It's intraday alert. So it should not tr get triggered in the next iteration. However, this alert should get triggered in the next few minutes. So uh, if you want to run it and see how, what the result is, You'll see that there are quite a few records and the time is 10 48 58. So in about 60 seconds, we should be getting a pop up alert. Only one. The other alert we should be getting in uh, about six minutes. Okay, so the alert got triggered. If you see the guys, we had an alert, right? The alert got previously triggered and it got into uh, triggered mode or pause mode. We have re enabled it and that alert is again coming here. Uh, want to look at the alerts, triggered alerts? You'll see that this alert got triggered here. You, got, you see that the alert got triggered here, right? Okay. Now, in in about five minutes, we'll see the other alert, uh, which we have added, which is ten fifty five, right? So the criteria here is uh, it, it, so, so just to be a little more clear on these things from the custom screener, right? We have three alert types. This is bit from your safe settings. This is based on standalone. That means you have not made the settings and you have just, uh, you have not saved the settings. You have just made a change, a change your strategy and you don't want to save it, but you want it alert on that. So this is standalone alert. And the third alert is custom screener on a stock. Okay. So we'll see what custom screener on a stock is. Now, do it yourself. Uh, we'll be a little lazy here. We'll quickly go into this particular one. Uh, we'll see that the price is here. Tick is good. Check in is above. We'll see something where the check in is high 42, right? Now, uh, basically, edges come 
is where we'll see that uh, there's a very good possibility that the, the, this will be intact in the next five minutes also. Right? Price is definitely matching, tick is matching, and the second is pretty high. So what we'll do is uh, we will hack alert on a stock. Right. So from safe screener is one which we have seen. The second one is from the current selection. Right. The third one is you want this strategy on a stock. So when you click there, want any time. Right? So what is the daily market ask? Right. So you want a web alert? We'll add alert. Uh, alert on chat. Add the alert, right? That got added. Now, what we are doing is we are adding this strategy on a stock, right? So let's say you have certain position or certain stock in your mind, in your watch list, right? Which you want to see that if this condition is met, uh, then I want to buy it, right? Uh, if generally, we have a something, right? If the if the price of uh, this particular stock Tata Steel goes below, let's say 50 rupees or 100 rupees, you want a certain things or you want that. If, if a combination of a Bollinger or or basically Williams or some other Ichimoku combination is there, you want alert. So that's how you that, that's where you'll add alert. Let's see what time it is. It is 53, right? So in about uh, a minute and a half, we'll get uh, another notification, web notification, right? So basically, there are two alerts that we got, right? One of the alert was 10 55 p.m. alert. So you see the time, the time is 10. Uh, the, the time is roughly around 10.55 or cross 10.55. So this is the first alert, which is specific time-based alert. And the second alert is basically on a particular stock using that strategy, right? So what we have seen is we have seen custom alert. So going back here, add alert on safe screener. Add. So what we have seen is we have added alert on safe screener. We have added alert on standalone, which is ad hoc without saving, we have added a strategy alert on a stock. Right. So th th this is what is coming out here. Again, guys, remember this is a simulated environment. Uh, we are not uh, running this on top stock research. Right. That's why you know if even if you add alert here, you'll not get SMS or email because uh, this particular environment doesn't support email and SMS. Local environment, right, is only for demo purpose. Okay, uh, so we have pretty much covered most of it, right? Uh, technical combo alert we covered where we had uh, check in and uh, a PE ratio, right? We have multiple candlestick patterns. Uh, now, this is another interesting one, right? Let's move, close it. Uh, some of the users are very heavy on candlestick, right? So, for candlestick, we have a slightly different approach. Uh, that's what we are saying, right? We are evolving as, as we get feedback from users. Now, if, if you want any of these candlestick patterns formed and alert on that on your watch list or stock basket, right? then what you can do is you can set alert. That means any of the stock in, let's say, mid cap has made either uh, bullish engulfing, cap, uh, piercing, white soldier, whatever, right? Category, right? So you will get an alert. So this is something which a lot of our users give excellent feedback to us. Right? Okay, we don't have to worry too much about it. We don't have to set five alerts, one alert. Any of these patterns is formed, we'll get an alert, right? So this is very, very powerful. You can run as well as set alerts on this. Running here, it gives you all those patterns which are formed, right? Setting an alert. Set alert. Handle. Add alert. So alert got added. Now you'll see that in about two minutes, you'll see any alert which where this pattern is found. Okay. Techno funda alerts. Is it repetition? No. Okay. Techno. So earlier was technical combo. Where in uh, as as we have uh, gone through right in the custom screener a uh, couple of days back, you can create combo. Technical screeners. Uh, same way, once you create a combo screener, you can add alert on that. Uh, same is Technofunda, right? And on the fly. On the fly is something that you have not saved it and you want alert on that. Again, I'll just mention it, uh, right? Uh, for uh, anybody who may have missed it, right? So from the current selection, change selection to anything 
you want to go to any other criteria, whatever criteria you are looking for. Let's say you're looking for beta, high beta stocks. Sorry. Looking for a high beta stock, maybe a longer duration one, right? Above, maybe it's 1.5. So high beta, there are three high beta stocks, Z, Rain, and this thing, uh, Dalmia. So from the trend selection, you add an alert. This is how you can create alert on the fly. Adding, adding combo technicals, feel free to add one or more. You can add moving average, 50, and above, 100, a very common one, golden crossover. Or uh, together with that, you want to add, I don't know what, uh, maybe stochastic below. Uh, that'd be very difficult to get. Uh, we, we'll say that cross above 50. Okay, the alert got triggered, right? Some of the alerts that we added, they got stack alert on candle. Uh, my bad spelling mistake, but th these, these were certain records which got triggered. So as, as you see, uh, this is typical pop-up alert, right? There was one of the questions which was mentioned. Right? This pop-up alert comes with sum, right? You can do fine tuning of the sum uh, using this, right? right? You can set anything, play, right? play. Uh, so feel free to uh, uh, tune, fine tune alerts. There are quite a few different waves, uh, files which you can create, right? Very customizable.